<laughs> so decidedly brilliant, and I love it a lot. Edinburgh Castle, the castle of the Burg of Eden. It's brilliant stuff. Oh, the capital of Scotland. This is why. This is the one o'clock gun. And you might remember it from such movies as The One O'Clock Gun and The One O'Clock Gun Rides Again. <laughs> it's brilliant and I love it a lot. It's going to go off any second, so I would stand well back. So this is Mons Meg. This is, a, this is the gun that starts off the Grand National every year. It's brilliant. And it reminds me of the wee joke. Do you want a tip for air on Saturday morning? Open your window on Friday night. Isn't that brilliant? But if you look down here, they were a present from the Jacobites, the band who were knocked out of X Factor in the first round. So this gun goes off in about half an hour. This is the half one gun. It goes off about or half one-ish. It's not just as reliable as the big one o'clock number. About 25 to two or something. I wouldn't hang around though. This is where William Wallace was walking down with Robert the Bruce when Robert said, by the way, we've sorted all that fight and carry on out. And William went, are you sure? Because I upset a lot of people. I threw guys through ceilings and all that. And he went, no, come on. And then they all jumped and went, jink, well, that's stupid. And Mr. R.T. Bruce went, it's your own fault for being a, a dafty. And that was it. So William Wallace was hung, drawn and quartered. And, he, and his body was put on a spike in Perth. And one in Rotherham. And the other one in Blackpool Tower. And... People say that that's how he died, but that's a lie. He actually died in front of the fire, reading a book. It was a Catherine Cookson number called While My Pillow Sleeps. <laughs> it's all decidedly brilliant. <laughs> Over here we have Fugue's Gate. It's the main en entrance to the, 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 the kebab shop. Robbie Burns has got a sunbed shop here called Burns, which is quite fitting. Oh my word, this is brilliant. This makes me feel decidedly humble and quite ashamed. Look over here, Crown Square. That's where Thomas Crown of the Thomas Crown Affair uh, made his films. Steve McQueen stayed here for many, many nights before he left to live in a travel lodge. The toilets in the castle shop, that's where you go and do a wee Greyfriars Bobby. Brilliant. This is my favourite thing over here. Wait, oh my, wait till you see this. These roof tiles are the biggest roof tiles in the world. And they're here in Edinburgh Castle. They were supplied by Bernard Cribbins, who was a Womble. That's a staggering fact. And you tell people that and they don't tend to believe you, you know. I love it very, very much. This is my home. This is where I want to live. I think I'll buy this place. I think I'll buy those signs. I think I'll buy those roof tiles over there and the turret. It's all brilliant stuff. <laughs>